Who is Soundquake? What is a Fusionator? And why does this guy have a metal jaw? These are Overwatch's unseen heroes and everything we know about them. In that one battle, they had Soundquake? Remember, he has, like, chest missiles? Soundquake was first mentioned during the cinematic trailer for Overwatch along with Tracer and Doomfist. Tracer is of course the poster girl of the game and already a playable character, and Doomfist is pretty likely to be on the way. So could Soundquake be a future hero as well? And if so, what would he look like? We know Soundquake was a hero during Overwatch's heyday, and that he was most likely part of the militaristic peacekeeping side of the organization rather than the science division. Also, one of his battles was likely televised, judging by the young boy's description of the action. What he could look like is up to interpretation, but there is a chance we might have already seen Soundquake both in-game, in concept art, and in another cinematic short. In this large group photo, we see a number of heroes we already know, but there are a few we've yet to meet. The ones towards the back are pretty likely to just be filler characters, generic Overwatch agents and soldiers. However, amongst the heroes, there are a few characters who have yet to appear in-game. The largest of these characters is this mech, or Omnic, towards the right. He also appears in another similar piece of concept art. There would certainly be space for some chest rockets in that armor, and to me the name Soundquake brings about images of large mechs or even a transformer. Soundwave, play back laser beaks findings. As you command, Megatron. The same character also appeared in the cinematic short Recall, where Winston attempts to bring Overwatch back together. As the computer monitor flicks through images of heroes, we see what is most certainly the same character. Lastly, there is this hotel in King's Row. On the moving billboard outside, it displays a similar looking suit. Although the head does have some differences, perhaps it's based on an alternative piece of concept art. Other large armors of a similar style can be seen in the background of the cinematic trailer, although none of those seem to match the red suit from the concept art. Now these large armors and the possible design for Soundquake also cross over with some leaked concept art for Project Titan, the failed game the Overwatch team were working on before Overwatch. This art was leaked, and we will probably never know whether it's real or not, but the design seemed to show early versions for characters that would become Tracer, Reaper, Mercy, Hanzo, and Genji. Amongst the designs is this Hulkbuster style armor. Alright everybody, stand down! This looks a lot like the armors from the cinematic trailer and the possible Songquake character. If this art is real, then it seems multiple designs from Titan were used in Overwatch, and although we have Reinhardt, there is certainly space for another giant armored hero. So which one's your favorite? Mine's Fusionator. While my first impression on hearing the name Fusionator was another giant armored transformer type character, what if it's actually this little guy in a hazmat suit? However, from the way the kid in the trailer is talking, Fusionator is a good guy, and if we zoom in on the hazmat mask, we can make out the face of what looks like Darth Vader without his helmet. It's not exactly a look that screams hero, so maybe this is Infusionator. But then could the hazmat character be a bad guy? The weapon he's holding looks like it almost fire liquid or gas. Maybe an evil rival for Torbjorn. Speaking of rivals, that takes us nicely onto another missing hero. Prior to her release, D.Va was teased as a poster in the Hanamura Arcade, but she's not the only character with their photo on the walls. The art style makes it hard to be sure, but it looks like many of the other posters all show the same character. A woman with long hair and a visor. In this poster, although she's missing the visor, she does still have the holographic heads-up display we can see in the other poster. The Japanese text translates to Power Girl. The text on the other posters all seem to be promoting video game releases such as Hunter 10 and Super Machine 2. One poster even looks like an advert for some kind of cyber optic music device. Now it might seem strange to think that a character who seems to be used for advertising would be a hero, but that's exactly the same thing that happens with D.Va. First we had the poster in Hanamura, but then in the Christmas comic we see her promoting something called Winterland, and on Hollywood we see posters for a movie she starred in. D.Va was a pro gamer who was drafted by the Korean military to pilot a mech. Could this other character be a fellow pro gamer? 
perhaps another member of the mecha unit, but with a different style of mech. One that perhaps operates separately to the pilot. Maybe this is even a rival for D.Va. There was also this character from the Recall Animated Short. While it's clearly a man in this image, could this be a later design for the same character, just with a gender swap? The final character that pops up in a couple of places has a metal jaw and no name. He first showed up in some concept art, but then he appeared again in the Recall cinematic. Nothing is known about him, but it could be possibly the same character shown in the far left of this picture. The photo also shows younger versions of other Overwatch heroes. It certainly could be the same character, and if it is, that makes him an early member of Overwatch, so what do you think his story could be? So what do you think? Is this Soundquake? Let me know in the comments below, as we love to read your theories. As always, this is Jason for Curse saying thanks for watching, and enjoy the game.